Hello, Algebra 2 people. So um, here's our last video about section 4.6 and imaginary numbers. Um, we're continuing our little tour of them. So in the, in the past, so before, we solved them. We added and subtracted them. We now multiplied and divided them yesterday. So our last thing is to kind of answer the question, what do they look like? Um, So that's kind of our last question we're dealing with here. Um, and just, this is going to be a super short one. I think graphing and finding the absolute value are pretty, I mean, they're just really short and pretty easy. You know, we've already kind of graphed things in a similar fashion anyway. So um, shouldn't be too bad. Um, you know, and part of this is just like, just again, just kind of knowing what they look like. Um, mathematicians needed imaginary numbers to solve problems that they couldn't before. And once they found, once they figured out what they were, they wanted to kind of see what they looked like or, or what you what you could do with them. So, um, so this is our last thing. So what we do is we look at our coordinate plane here, and our x's are now the real parts of the complex number. Our imaginary numbers are now the y parts. So we're going to look up here at an example. This part, remember, is the real part, the first part. So that's like our x's. So imagine that as our x. It's not really an x, but just you know pretend in your mind. And then imagine the neg imaginary part as your y, or imaginary part. So all we do is just plot that point, basically 3, negative 2. So that's all we're going to do here, is we just go over 3 and down 2. Oops. Oh, man, and then I missed. Over 3, down 2. And that's, our, that's it. That's our point. Um, that's that first imaginary number. That's letter A. So we kind of label it as A. Our next one, again, this is the real part. This is the imaginary part. So we graph them kind of separately. So negative 2, 4. So letter B is up there. Letter C is here. The real part is like 0 plus. Remember, there's there's no real part necessarily with this. So that's like 0. And then our imaginary part is 3. So when we graph this point, we're going to go, we won't go left or right. We'll just go up 3. And that will be C. And then our last one, the real, the real part is negative 4. The imaginary part is negative 3. Negative 4, oops, negative 3 is right there, and that's D. So that's all you have to do for graphing them. Um, it's fairly straightforward and simple, but there you go. So that's all I really have to do. Uh, our last, our other thing we wanted to talk about is absolute value. Um, absolute value, really all we're doing here is finding the distance from the origin, from center, from 0. We're finding basically the distance from 0 to this complex number. So we use the distance formula. So if you're writing this stuff in your notes, this is the main thing you want to keep track of is just your x, your real part squared plus your imaginary part squared and the square root of that whole thing. So again, these problems are pretty simple, I hope. Um, we've done the distance formula before. shouldn't be anything you know, mind-blowing there, but that's how you find the absolute value of this. It's really, again, it's just, it's called the absolute value, but it's really just the distance from the center, from the origin, out to your point. That's all we're really finding. So our first problem has this as our complex number. So our A part is there, and our B part is there. Our A part is the real part. That's the number without the I. Our B part is our imaginary part. That's the number with the I. So now we just fill in. you got to have a squared around it. Two, 4 squared is 16. 3 squared is 9. The square root, those are 25. So our answer for letter A is 5. It's, it's the absolute value of this, so with the bars around this, is 5. That's our answer for letter A. For letter B, we'll rewrite our negative.
negative 3i. So again, um, we look for our a part is our real part. That's like 0 plus. Remember, there's no real part on this. And then our b part is the negative 3. That's the part with the i. So we just fill in our stuff. a squared plus b squared plus square root. So that's like 0 plus 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So that would be our answer for the second one. So there you go. I mean, again, hopefully this is pretty easy. That's the goal. And um, that's the end of the, our kind of study of imaginary numbers. Our next thing coming up, the next video later on this week, will be about the quadratic formula. So be on your toes about that. And that will be up Thursday afternoon.